Hello once again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here with another episode of FTL, Faster Than Light. We are driving the, driving, piloting the VSS Phantom deeper and deeper into enemy space and we are now well kitted out to wreak havoc amongst our enemies. We have a glaive beam, powerful weapon of destruction. We have an ion blast mark II, perfect for wrecking the shields, letting our glaive beam cause havoc. And generally we are just ready to cause some trouble. So. The only problem left is we only have two fuel. Hopefully that doesn't cause too much of a drawback and we're able to make it on unhindered. Let's see what we have over here. Ooh. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire. The repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. We can destroy this defense system from a distance, we can leave them alone. We can disable the defense system with our ion weapon, or we can use our cloaking to disable the system. I've never actually done this one, so I'm going to try that. Actually, yeah, let's try that. Use our cloaking to disable the system. You use your ship's cloaking to prevent the descent system from getting a lock. Once closer, you're able to safely disable the system. They thank you for your help and offer a reward. One fuel, one drone part, and 55 scrap. Not great from the fuel standpoint, but... Free scrap. <laughs> Alright, so we can upgrade this. That should be good. We're going to need that later. And I guess we can hold on to more money for now. I'm not sure entirely what else we need. But those doors, reinforced doors, are great for stopping any borders from doing anything. Now we can jump here, here, everywhere is bad. Let's jump here. I'd hate to be stuck on the last space with no fuel, though. That would be bad. You're surprised when a stationary resultant ship opens fire. It appears there are aggressive pugilists, even amongst the enlightened. Unlightened? <laughs> Oops. Alright, blast those shields with auto-fire. They shouldn't be able to do anything to us, really. But we're gonna not take too many chances with them. We're gonna fry down their shields very fast with this fantastic ion blast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they can't even hurt us. We're doing okay here. Once those shields are down completely, then we're gonna glaive beam them, but not a second before. So, uh, the ion blast does hurt our stealth in quite a bit. Quite a bit. If I could find a store that would let me bypass that problem, that'd be great, but I don't think we're going to. We should be able to hit probably five rooms that way. Get them down. Ooh, might be close. Right from the edge here, can we reach all five rooms? I think so. That looks like it would be five. Let's try. And down they go. Fantastic. That glaive beam wrecks people. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. One missile, one drone part, and 55 scrap. Unfortunately, no fuel. We are playing with fire here. We're going to jump straight to the exit and hope we get some fuel. Because if we can't get out of here, that would be really sucky. <laughs> that would be really, really terrible. Okay, let's jump to the exit. Please, please have some fuel for me there. Please. Something? Something fuel? Oh, good. Someone to fight. Someone to fight. We come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission of the pirate. Stay out of this fight, it will make it worth your while. So, pirates. Okay, well, let's fight them. Because there's no fuel here, and I need fuel. So let's attack the pirate. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto our ship. And they also have a pair of pilot drones. I got, ooh, lots of ion weaponry, though. That could be bad. Hit their shields quickly. Also, our cloak still hasn't fully recharged, because I'm a fool. They missed one, that's not that's not too bad. Cloak out of theirs. We have to hit those things down. Oh, we missed a no. Ion blast, you need to do more work faster. Faster, faster, faster. I need to hit those ion weapons offline, otherwise they are going to do a lot of damage to me in a second. If that hits, those all hit. No, not quite. Come on, ion blasts, you have to take them out, otherwise I'm in trouble. Hit them, hit them. Oh no, you missed. That's not good. Okay, let's just fire this in here. I'm going to do the same trick, trick I did last time. It's not going to insta-kill them this time, but it will do some damage at least. Slow them down. So we need them to be a little bit inconvenienced, otherwise they're going to do us a lot of damage. Let's cloak out, so they can't just wreck us here. We are missing our ion blasts. Missing ion blasts is bad. You missed too many of them, and all of the damage you've done with the ion blast goes away. However, it doesn't look like it's going to be too much of a problem. We should be able to destroy them without taking any damage. Oh, seven missiles. One drone part and 33 scrap. That would be nice, but I need fuel. I don't understand. I need fuel, guys. <laughs> I 
need it. It's not something I can I can choose to not take. I have to fight you until I get gas. Hopefully they'll give me some, otherwise this is going to be a very frustrating fight. Alright, here we go. Even if I don't get as much good stuff as that, if I get two fuel or one fuel, I'll be happy. Down they go. Any fuel in this reward? Oh, 25 scrap. Hopefully the ship we just saved gives us something too. Hello. Thank the heavens you showed up. We don't, have, we, don't have, we don't have much to offer as a reward, but our engineers should be proficient enough to patch your ship up a bit after that nasty fight. Oh no, no fuel is given. <laughs> that's terrible. Terrible. Okay, that's that's not good. Hmm. We have to now turn on our distress beacon and pray someone comes to our aid before these guys catch up to us. Wait, someone, someone. Ugh, oh, ugh, oh, thank goodness. A poorly armed slug ship cruises by and offers his assistance. He's offering us 15 scrap for 5 fuel, which is actually exactly the normal offer. So he's laughing at the prices he's charging, but he's offering good prices. So, we'll pay it. Done. We doubt he's trustworthy, but have no choice but to make the deal. However, you completely exchange without event. Sometimes I try and steal your money and then run. But, we got lucky. We got our stuff without any problems. And now we get to jump to freedom. But I'm getting greedy. No, don't, don't get greedy. Just get out of there. I could actually get to the storm back without any problems. Maybe I should. I don't have anything to sell though. Not really, anyway. Nothing really worth buying either. All right, let's just jump out of here. Let's jump to the last stand. The moment of truth. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. VSS Phantom versus the enemy flagship. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past initial security and a direct feed to the Captain Ship's War Room. Cap <laughs> Captain Ship's? Capital Ship's War Room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission. The explanation is made with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzel of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will help wherever possible. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, now what we could do, if we get a bit more scrap, we could upgrade our weapons again, activate our small bomb again, and that would give us some really nice weapon diversity. But, I'm not actually, hang on one second here, small bombs. Yeah, you can target your own ship with them. That could make them useful too. Now, he's way over there. It's going to take him a while to get over here. We could jump to this repair beacon and then work our way over. Especially because that's a safe location for the most part. Let's do that. I know it's a waste, but we're not going to be back here to use it again anyway. And if they give us some scrap, that would be nice. Nope, just some fuel, some missiles, and some drone parts. Not bad. We'll take the missiles and stuff. And we'll jump forward. We need to get over there and stop that flagship. Hello there. Uh, Battalion of Federation fighters are fighting around in a nearby moon with their carriers waiting for distance. We must encounter a little squadron. Nothing to bother us, though. Now, this is going to bother us. <laughs> so we'll fight them. Hopefully, they'll be okay. If they give us too much trouble, that would be unfortunate. Automated rebel scout attacking small refueling outpost. More gas. I don't need gas anymore. Let's intervene and defend the outpost, because honestly, we can handle this now. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage our ship. As long as they don't have assault drones, that would suck. No, oh, just, just attack drones. That's okay. That's okay. Hit their shields with the ion blast. ASAP. Oh, what did I just hit? I think I just, like, hit that drone with my ion blast. That's silly. Okay, now we're gonna... They have an ion blast mark too as well. That's not what we wanted to see. So we're gonna hopefully not get murdered by this thing. Because those things are pretty murderous. Oh no. We're gonna get hit hard in a second. Ow. Like that. If we jump, there is nowhere safe to jump to. We can jump here. But then they're gonna jump in. Eh, let's jump here. Get away. That guy's not friendly. I don't wanna mess up. That would not be good. Oh. <laughs> Shots fly by your port windows, followed by a rebel scout in pursuit of a damaged cruiser. Should we move into engage? Yes. We have to engage now. We don't have any options. We don't have the, uh, like, we can't run. <laughs> we 
We move into intercept. Continue. Okay. Fire in there should put itself out because of these super doors. Ion blast their shields. No, that's a teleport room. Ion blast their shields. They're they're boarding. That's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. We're gonna send our engine man in there to fight them with some support. Hopefully, can I give him support? No. I could take our Zoltan off. They have lots of lasers, though. I'll take our Zoltan off here. Put him in there to help. But now I can't power my shields properly. This is a bad way we're in. Now we're starting to take hits. Zoltan, back in there. Power up your shield. Oh, we took a hit in the engine. Took a hit in the engine. And they're not even taking damage, man. We're missing all our shots. Alright, you get back over there and fix your damage. I wish I could, like, set fire to that room or something. That'd be nice. I can glaive beam them, but I can't get through their shields yet. <sighs> Let's distract them more. I need you to break those shields down, guys. If you don't break the shields, we can't do anything here. No, we're not getting through those shields. We're just sitting there poking away at them, not doing any damage. Okay, that's unfortunate. Hopefully this will hit the shields. No, it's hitting the shields, but it's not breaking the shields. Okay, get in there. Oh, they ran away. Good. I don't know why they ran away, honestly. They didn't take that much damage. Hopefully the Ion Blast. Yes, there we go. Okay, now I can hit them. <laughs> now we can hit them. Uh, now the question is, where do we hit them? We'll hit them for that, I guess. No, we'll hit them the other direction. We want to hit the shields first, the most maximum damage possible. These guys have a lot of health, too. Wow. Alright. That fire still hasn't gone out. Wow. It's persistent. Let's cloak, I guess. Give us a little bit of free time before they can teleport back to us, and then we can set them on fire again. Ah! Good! Shields are down! Glaive beam at full potential. As long as we don't miss two ion blasts in a row. Good. Otherwise, it resets to full. Alright, now they're doomed. <laughs> For all your power. Oh, now our oxygen room's on fire. That's not what I had in mind. Um, okay, you go put out the... No, you have to stay in the shield room. Uh, you go put out the fire. Because that's not what we want to have happening. We do not want our oxygen to burn. It's burning, alright. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Oxygen has burned up. Shields are now... Doors are now down. Oh, goodness. Kill them, guys. Kill them. All you need to do is kill them, and we have free reign of this entire sector. Good. Oh, dangerous stuff. With a rebel ship destroyed, we're free to contact their would-be victim. We get three fuel, one missile, and a 57 scrap. Contact the survivors, and they offer their sincere gratitude, because they are just refugees. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Get in there and put that oxygen fire out, and then repair that oxygen. We need oxygen. There we go, that's fixed. Repair this. Oh... Dangerous business. Dangerous business. You get back over to your room, I guess. And Oni, you get back to your room, too. Wraith, you get back to your room. Is anyone else injured? No. Looking like we're doing okay there. Well, I reactivate the glaive beam. That does give me the ability to activate the bombs like I wanted. Perfect. Perfect. We t 11 bombs, too. It's pretty good. That gives us the ability to add some variety to our attacks. We're going to upgrade our piloting, which means if we take one damage there, we won't immediately lose all of our evasion. Hmm. They should be jumping... Yes, not quite there yet, but they will be getting there soon. So I should be able to go one, two, three, maybe, before they get away? Get to that repair station? I don't know, that might be wishful thinking. I'd, be, I'd really hate to wait to get like too far away and not be able to stop them after all that, but... I don't want to jump there and have to fight them now, so I'm going to go to the repair station and we'll come back. Hello, repair station. Full health, thank you. Five fuel, four missiles, five drone parts. Very nice. Now we should be able to jump back to here and then jump back to there without any trouble. Because it should take him a turn before he jumps. Yes. We jump to the rebel flagship spot. And here comes the fighting. Are we ready? Stations are manned. Oxygen's just about at full. Nothing else to spend our money on. Everyone, almost everyone's level two now. Wow, they leveled up fast. Oni is just barely level one, but that's okay. Okay, I guess we're good to go. 
Bring it on, Rebel Flagship. It's a moment of truth, folks. This is it, the Rebel Flagship. If we destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have no chance of surviving. As they say. Now. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright, this monstrosity is definitely an appropriate name for it because it has some of the most irritating weaponry. This, in particular, is viciously deadly. So we're going to be taking it out as quickly as possible. We're going to be blasting out their shields as well with our ion blast as usual. Probably going to have to take two small bombs to this deadly super rocket launcher because that thing is one of the most dangerous weapons in their entire arsenal. We want it dead as quickly as possible. Also, ow, that was not good. That really hurt us. And that lasers could have done a lot of damage in a second. Alright, now these rockets are going to wreak havoc in us if they hit our weapons. Oh, good. They did not hit our weapons. We need to get out there and put those fires out now. We are taking damage. Taking damage. Oh, wow. You know what? This actually may ruin our plans. I'm going to have to take out that cloaking device really fast, otherwise we could be in a lot of trouble. Uh, Pre-prioritize. Take out the cloak. Actually, no. You keep attacking this. You take one more shot at that rocket launcher. Destroy it. Temporarily, at least. No, I have to take out the take out the cloak first. It's hard to prioritize at this point. There's so many things that need to be done. Is this destroyed? Yes, it is. Good. Cloak is destroyed. Good, 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 good. Put those fires out, guys. It's vital. Get over here. Put those fires out. That's also vital. Keep iron blasting that. We can't do anything until you've gone through there. We are now taking all kinds of damage. This is not good. For a ship that was so powerful, we are immediately getting obliterated. Cloak active now. That was good timing on that cloak. Oh, they still managed to hit us, even with 95% evade. Stinkers. Alright, well, there's nothing we can do about that now. We have to get these things back online as quickly as possible. Man, they cloaked! I don't know how they cloaked so fast. They're just going to turn off our ion blast power. Yeah, that cloak is actually going to ruin us. Single-handedly going to ruin the game for us. Because if we can't hit them through it... Man, that's terrible. Okay, you need to go reactivate... The repairs... There. Reactivate those again. Man, we are getting beat up. Because I can't hit them. Oh, I can hit them with the glaive beam now. Fantastic, doing that right now. We are going to fry. What am I going to fry? Um, I don't even know what I should do here. I can hit a couple rooms, but they're not even going to do a whole lot of damage right now. Let's hit five rooms like this. This is scary stuff. Okay, um, hit him. Then will do some damage. The bomb will help keep their stealth offline. We are going to get hit in the face really hard. Oh, only took one damage there. That's good. We're going to cloak. Dodge those stinking things. Um, we are going to have to stop small bombing that. We're going to start small bombing that. We're going to slow down their ability to use that weapon as much as possible. Next up, keep their... How can you cloak when your cloaking system is broken? How is that fair? And now in the time it takes them to come back online... Oh good, okay, it wasn't that long. I was going to say, all their shields are going to repair, but thankfully that didn't happen. Now glaive beam them and mess those guys up. There we go. That's what I like to see. And we took a big punch. At Holy damage, Batman. That hurt. Okay, go repair those systems right now. Repair the radar. No, 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 no. Dodge those, luckily. Thankfully, the small bombs turned off, so I didn't end up wasting any more bombs. And now all I have to do is wait till the glaive beam can fire again. I should be able to wreck these guys, but... Oh man, we're fighting a dangerous game here. We're on the brink of death. The brink of very painful death. Ion blast those things, get them offline. Oh no! No, 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 no. You do not turn your shields back on at this point. Not at this point. And down you go! Oh, okay. There's one, one battle down. Just as we finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In this new state, we'll have to get closer to the base to be a threat. We bought some time. We have to keep up the assault. Man, that was way more difficult than I was anticipating. Let's repair that hull breach with our two Zoltan. Okay, we're fighting on dangerous terms here. 
dangerous terms. Wraith, back to your position. Actually, you can help him repair. I don't really have any good repairmen, do I? Spectre's probably the best one, yeah. This is dangerous business, man. Scary stuff. Okay, you get back in there. Repower that. You get back to your station. Hoo-wee, okay. So, we're... We're injured badly. We can chase him down here. We could try and get to the repair station and back, but that takes too many turns. We're just gonna have to fight him. Hope we have enough health. The next round is the heavy drone round. We may not have enough shields for this, honestly. But there's nothing really for it but to try and face him down. Hopefully, now that they can't cloak our ion blasts, we'll be able to do more damage faster and we won't be in such big trouble. Alright, well, let's do it. Bring it on. The Phantom faces you. We chased down the flagship and discovered it's heavily damaged from the previous fight. It has redirected considerable power to drones, but no longer has its cloak. You know what? That's okay. I'm cool with that. We're gonna bomb out those drones as quickly as possible. Oh, and they have smashed into our med bay. Probably the best place they could have smashed into, honestly, but we're gonna still suffocate in there pretty quick. Get in there, fight them. We're gonna small bomb that room. Hope we don't miss. I'm going to take out their drones as quickly as possible, although they do have a huge pile of them. They're going to start hitting us. Oh, we missed an ion blast in there. Is that a level 2? Hope not. Okay, now here comes the big guys. We're going to dodge those missiles. Have to dodge the missiles, honestly. Here comes the big blast. I'm going to actually have to turn off my... Oh no, it's too late. Too late. That's unfortunate. We're going to get beat up by these drones now. Um... I cannot cloak now during this fight. We're going to hit them quickly with a blast through here for the nice 5 damage. At least do some damage to them. They are going to wreck us in a second, though. We do not have the shields for this. I'm amazed he's staying at full health. I guess it's because he's in the health room, but he's suffocating and fighting someone <laughs> without having any negative effects. Weird. Alright, well... Hopefully, they don't wreck us. Oh wow, we actually got off pretty lightly there. Now this is gonna hurt. These rockets are gonna hurt. Don't hit me anywhere important. Oh, hit my oxygen. Okay, fix. don't worry about fixing that hole. Go over there, fix the oxygen there. Have a power surge coming. Hopefully we hit the glaive beam before they do. Yes, we did. Now we can afford to cloak. And we will turn off our smart small bombs. Yeah, turn off the small bombs. Hopefully we can hide a little bit better this way. We have a lot of holes in our hull. This is not a good day to be on our ship. Okay, um, our oxygen is lowering, but we're doing okay still. We have seven bombs left, so I'm going to hit them in the drone control again. Because the last thing I want is having them firing more boring, boarding drones at me. Hopefully he'll fix that pretty quickly, and we'll be able to hit them with another glaive beam and end the- Oh no! No, 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 no! Okay, that's okay. And down they go. Oh, I was afraid that missile was going to hit us in the weapons. Just as we finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In this new state, we'll have to get closer to the base to be a threat. One more time. But now we're getting dangerously close to the end of the game here. We are burning, we are full of holes, we are just in a bad way all around. But we have not yet died. That's the important thing. We have not yet died. Fix that hole. Good. Get out of there. Get in here. Fix this hole. You should be invincible while you're fixing that hole, so that's okay. Spectre. Shade. Back in your position. Spectre. Back in your position. These guys are just happily suffocating away there, keeping their health permanent. I guess that's what happens. Eh? You take constant damage and constant healing while they're in there and suffocating, so it actually negates. It's kind of neat. Oni, back to your position. Back to your position. Oh, Glaive Beam Online. Reactivate that. This is just bad business. We are down to the final fight. We have a third of our health. We have <laughs> still pretty well effective weapons. They are going to be boarding us, though, en masse in this next fight. But we may not be prepared for what that involves. We're just going to have to do our best. Oh boy. <laughs> 
We're going to upgrade our oxygen room, so it takes a little bit longer for them to destroy it if they teleport directly into it. I'm not going to try and power it at all, just have that extra space. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll stick a Zoltan in there for a second to help speed up the oxygen regeneration. And then we can head back into the shield room and jump on further ahead to fight for the final time. Fantastic. Alright, shields online. Now, here goes. This is, literally, the moment of truth. The final battle. Bring it on. Here we go. The final fight of the VSS Phantom. Can we do it? They have a super weapon, that's okay. We've got the power to blast your shields for all their worth. We're taking out that missile launcher as soon as possible. That's our priority kill. We are going to be sending this gun. Actually, you know what? We're just going to suffocate them out of there. They can be in there all they want, but they're still going to suffocate. And when they try and attack us, we're going to be cloaking as quickly as possible, like so. No thank you there, rockets. I'm not interested in that. They got out into the radar room. That's okay, they're still going to start suffocating any second now. Oh, they're teleporting more people. We are going to be in trouble in a second. Oh, hello. Okay. Open that door. You get out of here, too. We are going to take a big hit in a second, though. From that super big uh, energy attack they're going to fire at us. Oh, how'd that door get closed? No, open it. I want to suffocate them. Woo! There we go. Ouch, there's the hit I was worried about. Now, this could be bad. You're going to get in here, help out, help repair that damage right now. Okay, um, we're going to fire, we don't even have any good targets for this anymore. I guess we probably hit four rooms, including the helm, like that? No. We could hit those three rooms. Is there anything better we could hit? Maybe four like this. Yeah, we can hit four like that, that's pretty good. Is that the best we can do? I don't know, let's try hitting over here. So if we hit... That ah oh, doesn't quite reach. Okay, if we hit like that. That's pretty good. That'll do some damage. There we go. Not enough to make them run away, but yes enough to make them be unhappy. Okay, repair that damage. Turn the ion blast back on as quickly as possible. Hit their shields with it right now before they get them regenerated. Uh huh. This is this is not looking good for us. We are in an unhealthy way here. Oh no! They just fired all their weapons at once. And I do not have my shield... Oh! Just dodge that. Okay. Close those airlocks. Actually, leave that one open so we can vent the air problem out of there. Kill them quickly, guys. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I do not want you to die. Ion Blast is hitting the shields. Good. It's hitting the shields. We are detecting, detecting a power surge, which means we are going to get badly hit in one second. Oh man, this is this is literally terrifying. We are on the verge of victory and on the verge of death. In a couple more ion blasts, the shields will be down and we can easily destroy them. However, in a couple more hits, we will be dead. <laughs> so, like that. This is going to hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt. That's amazing. That's amazing. You get in there. Fix that right now. You fix that right this second. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Small bombs are active. Destroy those rockets. Oh! Took a hit to the shield, the med bays. We are on the verge of death! No! You are not taking this from me! Not now! Not now! No! I refuse! You have to let me. Don't you dare! If you do one more damage to my ship, I lose, and I refuse to take that loss now. And. Oh no, we're dead! <laughs> we're so close, we're gonna die. No, oh, we had it too. Oh, what a bitter defeat that was. What a bitter defeat. We were inches from victory there. Man. Well, thanks for that venture with us, folks. <laughs> this is Vanguard of Valor, heading sadly defeated from the brink of success. The VSS Phantom being finally destroyed. However, I would say it was a pretty successful campaign. We got pretty far, we unlocked a new ship, we caused havoc across the galaxy. Oh, if you liked the episodes, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. <laughs>